And was this from your, well, I'll call your early period yes. or, okay, and this is, is this more recent? This is more recent. Yes. Okay. And so, and this is the on, most your, recent, yeah, on the your recent. travels home, you can actually create yes. an art piece while you're mm -hmm. <laughs> just traveling home. So, okay, great. Um, what, now you saw him, was it himself? Was it the instrument? What inspires you about the portrait people? Is it the story that when you see them evokes yes. in you and then you try to bring it to the paper? Because to me, this looks like when this says going home, to me, it reminds me of Africa yes. and it reminds me of two sisters or yes. something going home in their community or something. Right. So how does that work for you? Do you get a, do you get a sensorial like, yes. like a, fe a like, I don't want to, it's kind of spiritual, but a spiritual type feeling and then you try to bring it to the painting? Or yes, I guess I love portraits and I love people in action. Mm -hmm. So before I was before I started to manipulate the photos, I was all into just taking photog pictures of just people and you know and flowers and whatever like buildings and lights and leaves on the ground anything. Mm -hmm. But then when I learned how to transform these pictures into different pieces of art, it, people, portraits, my favorite people in motion, people doing things, it tells a story. Yeah, you're a storyteller mm -hmm. through yes. the pictures. I have at least three different subway musician photos that I manipulated. So you'll probably have so a whole a series. series. Yes, a bigger series. Mm -hmm. So let's take another offering. And when we come back, I've got so much more to ask Tawanda about her work and also h how she sees when she creates uh, workshops for people, how she sees the artist in them emerge. We'll see you in just a moment. She came back on you, and that's so lucky we're back with Tawanda. Um, Tawanda, I know color is your thing. So when you have an idea for a, a portrait or, a, and also I want to say, I want to talk about your, we'll get to that in a second, the colors. Do you, do you have like a color, like a primary color that you're like, okay, I'm going to use this color, or does do you just hit the, the, the canvas or the, the computer with a color and then work from the one and have it grow out? Or is it different every time? It's different every time. I kind of feel like I like to just throw a bunch of colors in there and play with it until I see something I like. Right. And you, I wanted to talk because I got ready to say I got so excited. You really like, I know you're really jazzed about collage, like oh. the, the... My new favorite thing. Yes. So even in the paintings, mm -hmm. it's got the collage feel. There's like a so lot of action. Well, I'll this bring it up again. It's it's, sim it's almost collage because I did use a little tissue paper. Yeah, I see. There's right? there's a I little depth it. to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it gave it a different look. And, and you also look like you did something over here. Well, that might Absolutely. be the tissue, but you got you also have a different texture yes. there. And that's yeah. a some of the different paints that are acrylic paints that I use. Right. I started to just do a lot of different interesting things. But this is all digital, and this is a more of a collaged, on purpose, a collaged look. An intentional collage yeah. from digital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um. Yell showed this work, and at any time, Yell, if you want to show anything off the uh, website, that's fine, too. Um, now, how did you, d you sort of have a technique, and how did you develop it, or is it just like when it feels good? And also, I wanted to ask you, you do work every day, you have a family, you, you create programs for other people. When do you get, well, I see you get this on a subway, <laughs> <Yes>. but, <laughs> but. Do you get to, does this the moment of uh, time of day or time of whenever you do, where you get to like lose yourself for a while and yes. just have that, f that whole freedom to just have that creative flow? And how do you find your moments? Yeah. I'd be side on the subway. but On the subway, number one, and when the kids go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> so it's I really quiet. Bed and I go in my little corner and I get all of my little supplies and the magic happens. It's so beautiful. Now, if we can, can we talk a little bit about, you've really, um, I, I've been able to, you know, in one of the city facilities, be able to come in and, and, and I liked paint. I've always liked it even, I won't know if I, when I was little, but I've done watercolor mm -hmm. here and there for a while, and I do like it. It's, but I love watercolor. It's hard, though, because you can't, really, you can't mess up. I mean, you know, you can't correct it. You have to be happy with what you put down. Right. But, um, and I myself have little, I've told you some of the little weird things yes. I create creatively, but 
Uh, but you start a painting class, a uh, monthly one, um, near the studio at a community, you know, at a, a center um, in the city center. And um, what prompted you to do that? And then I thought we, you maybe could share what it's like from your perspective to set, because you, you come up with a different theme every month, and what's it like to see people come and like, maybe are they fearful at first? What is it like to w watch them get free with the, you know, the materials? Because some people, just talk about it, because it must be fascinating to be on the walking around supporting side, which you do so well for everybody. So I, I like to feel that I have a resource that I can share with the public. Right, mm -hmm. and that resource is a space and the ability to get supplies that people can just go ahead and use. So normally what I do is I, f I find a topic, sometimes it's random, sometimes it's not, and I gather all the supplies that I think that I can get my hands on that can facilitate, facilitate that. A, a good amount of people. Mm -hmm. And something that would not intimidate a person that just wants to come in and play around and the person that already knows what they want to do and they want mm -hmm. to work at that level. So whatever it is that I create, it has to be something that it can work at a lot of different levels. And my my job really is to encourage you to do something creative, whatever that something is, mm -hmm. and give you what you need to do it, period. And it happens. Mm -hmm. People come in and they're like, oh, I don't even know how to hold the paintbrush. How about, how, how about you don't use a paintbrush, use a sponge, use your finger. You know, you don't have to use a paintbrush. You can mm -hmm. use other ways you can get done some type of Cre artwork. Creative flow, creative, yeah. yes. Without properly using a paintbrush. That's mm -hmm. not what the, the class is about, teaching you how to paint. It's to teach you to be creative or give you an opportunity to do something creative. Right, so. and then you do different themes yes. every time. and Yes, we don't want the people to be bored to come in every <laughs> right. every month and they're just painting something. So we, we like to introduce collage, we like to introduce paint and collage. We, we may find uh, a famous artist and use their style or their technique, not actually copying. Uh, like a, a springboard. or Yes, yes. We don't want to copy something that they already did, but we can use the technique that they use to create their own, to create their art and just create your own art. Mm -hmm. So, so wh what's it like, because you get to, like, it's a big room and yes. some weeks more than other people, more people than others. Sometimes we have children, mm -hmm. sometimes we, um, Sometimes you get people that come from other yes. centers and places yes. and yes. they got the word is out. Mm -hmm. One time I was there, there was people that saw it on like, not like on, um, they were visiting the city yes. and they saw it somewhere and they yes. just came, mm -hmm. you know, they were just visiting the city. So they were tourists, so to speak. Um, what's it like to watch people in process in something that you love to do yourself? Was it like, do you get excited for them? Do you? St what do you do with the timid one? Mm -hmm. You know, how, what's what's well, what's I, it like? It's exciting just to see them engaged, right? Especially the people that say, "Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to draw." Okay, this is not a drawing class, so you don't have to draw, right? I'll give you another another option to get something on your canvas or on your paper to get started. It's it's just a good feeling to know they want to do more. That at the end of the day, they have something that they like. You know what I said. Okay, this, I took this blank canvas and now I have whatever. I, I bring my examples and I'm like, oh, I don't think I can do that. No, yeah, you, you, you can. I'm going to walk you through it. Don't worry about it. Pretty much is what I tell them, right? Mm hmm. It's great. Yeah, it's fun. And what, um, where do you see your work going for yourself? Do you think you'll try to do a gallery show sometime? Or what do you have, uh, you know, or do you want to? take your work and illustrate a book for somebody or do you feel like writing a book and you know putting your own illustrations in I'm not putting you on the spot mm -hmm, just, mm -hmm. just I'm just wondering like what your big visions are because we probably still have a few minutes to chat about the work and what the big visions are and then you can talk about what your goals would be for people who you know the ones you serve all the time well the gallery would be nice I, I like these smaller images that I'm doing but I would love to see it see something produced a little bit larger, maybe painting a really large mm -hmm. canvas. That's the, that's number one. Um, a gallery, definitely. A little a showing would be a great. Nice, a nice showing, that would be great. And um, right now I'm just enjoying the teaching aspect of it. Uh, just letting people know you can be creative, whatever that means. You can find something creative to do. And what's your like process and preparation for, not like, you say like not making, letting them be bored, like, you know, uh, you 
uh, one time I was there, mm -hmm. we did, you know, you had it inspired by, uh, you know, famous art, you know, different famous artists, and some people do it very literal. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I come in, I just go like, let me look at it, let me go, because yeah. I just, if I have to think too much, I will, I think You're too much most of the time, so I just want to, but and you, you're you consistent with your way each time you come in. It's like, all right, I already know what I'm going to do with this, whatever the topic is, and you. And you I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do, right. but I just get there and mm -hmm. I just let it go. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. um, but like you pick, you know, uh, d how do you do your research? You go like, okay, well, this month I'm going to do like I know you're going to do Klimt mm -hmm. in another, and he's like amazing right. Austrian artist, um, and. That you should tell them to watch that m movie, Woman in Gold. Have okay, you seen okay. that movie? I don't know if you've seen it. It's no, about, well, you should. It's about who really owned those paintings, mm -hmm. a family, and during Nazi Germany. Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. have them watch it. It might be fun afterwards. They, it's got um, Helen Mirren in it. It's a great film. It just came out a couple years ago. But they can see a lot of the paintings. Mm -hmm. And justice was served. I'm not trying to promote the movie. But <laughs> just in case, you know, that, that gives them some reference point right, to know absolutely. more about the work. Because you never know who owns a painting, absolutely. and they got taken from them. Right. So, right. but anyway, how did you like come upon like something like that, or you just did one? Well, this is Mexican. Mm -hmm. Day of the Dead's coming up yeah. and all that stuff. So you had a Mexican influenced mm -hmm. and w did it on on, new, on uh, just paper bag like paper yes. wrap paper the, wrap. Uh, it wasn't paper bark painting. We tried to imitate. Yeah, which was very cool. Did and you come up with the way to imitate it, or did you Google that too? I don't want to give it. I googled it, and on YouTube they had a lot of different ideas, but I knew that I can get my hands on craft paper mm -hmm. and I can get enough to do a class of 20 or more right there was something right. easy for me to get my hands on so a lot of the the classes are based on what type of material I can get that's close to the technique that the person um, that the artist did or something interesting yeah you have to get sort of creative in mm -hmm. how you bring it close to the Absolutely. work yeah mm -hmm. so and um and how much information I can find on this subject so that people can at least get a basic idea of what they should be doing. Right, because you usually have a video yes. that you show mm -hmm. um, to give some like education, mm -hmm. art education, mm -hmm. and then you usually play some music, oh, yes. and um, it's all very, very well laid out. Are you, do these like, I mean, do you wake up thinking about yes. these things sometimes, and I'm you just go like, whoa! Yes. Your husband's yes. like, okay, sweetheart, just write that down, <laughs> go back to sleep, please, I'm tired. Yes. But, but so it's always, exciting for yes. you mm -hmm. it, it, you keep it fresh Absolutely. now uh, um it also m like off the art side mm -hmm. just a little bit but with what you do for the community is it the same for you about like the programs you come up with for the young people and the types of movement classes you might come up for for the seniors or for the young you know the the young people whoops i mean do you still uh, is it always like you know, never ending, and yes. you got to take a lot of notes for yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Even with when when I supervise the staff and we try to find creative things to do in the workplace, it's like, okay, um, you may be a Zumba instructor. Let's see, uh, how can we merge that with some other skill to make it a little more exciting? So you get something like Aqua Zumba. Okay, you know, and it right. works. And people that love Zumba may be in, may be pushed to another level to do it in the water. So right. Yes, I go to sleep thinking about anything that will bring a new idea, mm -hmm. something creative, and pass it along to someone else. And what's it like, I guess, because, you know, you see people come in and go, and the families come in, and, I mean, even Yao, who's behind yes, the cameras, yes. come in with her daughters to paint, since I encourage them yes, and stuff. Yes. What is it like to see, like, the growth or the change or get to know? Because you get to, when people repeatedly come to things, you get to know them on a much more intimate level. So. That's like different than other kind of work. What's mm -hmm. that like for you? What I mean, what you know, what's it like to see somebody? I guess either calm down or feel really proud mm -hmm. or you know, uh, you must go through a myriad of things with people. Yes, so. I, I like to see when they feel they made some progress, especially if they come every month and it's like at first they were very timid about what they do, and then the next month it's like I got this. I, oh, I know you're gonna give us something creative to do and already know it's going to be fantastic whatever whatever it is the idea is like whatever you create is yours just just love it you know there's a level of confidence yes. that mm -hmm. they they develop and they come mm -hmm. to that's yeah. really yeah. it's so so great mm -hmm. i know i enjoy it and when i can get yeah. there i do i can't always get to everyone but i'm right. usually disappointed if yes. i can't yes. but you know it and it's always like mm -hmm. I don't know. I I just I just have a, a great time. Is this a great like little frozen 
frozen time of just, shh, and in a big city like this, it's, you know, because people can say, oh, I'll go home and do it, but mm -hmm. then, you know, they get home, they have to make the dinner, yes. the TV goes, or whatever. Yes. I mean, some creative things you can do while you're listening to music or watching TV. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily, but painting with the TV, but, um, <laughs> but you know, like cutting up or crocheting right. or right. things like that. Right. So, um, okay, I want to ask you, uh, what other kind of pieces are you working on right now, personally? Uh, m more in this vein, more in, in the digital, or kind of a combo, or? On occasion, it's a combo, but it's more painting. I, I like the idea of exploring different techniques. There's so many different mm -hmm. things that have textures and types of paint. I haven't tried watercolor. That's, I have a nice kit at home. I haven't tried it yet. So once I'm done with acrylic, I'll move on to watercolor and I'll be looking forward to teach that. And then I'll move on to oil, you know, and then I'll be ready to oil, teach Oil, I doubt you'll be teaching like on oh, a no. one-day basis because no. that stuff is hard yeah. to dry. But that's that gouache saying. thing is mm -hmm. supposed mm -hmm. to be really mm -hmm. nice. My friend who was an artist, she mm -hmm. had me once for my birthday. I was mm -hmm. visiting them and she had me do, you know, she put up a, a picture. She said, pick one of these artists. But then I just looked at it and got a little idea. And that gouache is yeah. nice because it's kind of between like water mm -hmm. and acrylic or mm -hmm. something. But it, you can play with it, and, but it dries quickly. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know much about it, but it is nice. Um, but I, I, it's so great. And what about your kid? Your kids? Do they do <laughs> art projects with you at home too? Because well, they're, they're kind of little, but. Yeah, they, my five-year-old, she, if she sees me doing anything, I have to make a space for her, right? So she has to do so her. So she's thing. into it, but now she's trying to draw, and she's like, "Well, I'm an artist like you." I'm like, "Yeah, you are. <laughs> I, I love that you that you love that, and that she's yeah, confident absolutely. about absolutely. it. It's great." So now she puts her things up all over the house. And so you have you have your gallery yes. showings there. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have two minutes left. Okay. So I guess what what has been the being self taught? What has been the greatest? lessons you've learned about yourself and about your skill and um, and what do you hope to impart on other people? I mean, you've said a little bit of that, but, that, but what else would you hope? To, I guess, what would you hope for people if they had something they want to do, to do? You know, um, you know, like if they have a dream or a right. goal, what, what would you? Well, yeah. of course, whatever that idea is, you focus on it, try to bring it to life as much as you can. And once you get it down, you need to share it with someone. Find a, a child, a group of people, share whatever you learn with someone else. It feels so great. <laughs> that is really <laughs> good. And um, is there uh, anything else that you would say about, well, I would like to say, not because we can't be a big shout out, but you know, there's a lot of things in the city that are here for people to use yes. to enjoy life and to feel good about who they are. So, and you're a spokesperson for that. Would you? I don't know, encourage people to get out and look for all that. I mean, there's like, you have all kinds of free stuff for the yes. kids and everything. I think it's really important for people to have outlets and sometimes people can't afford mm -hmm. to, you know, pay for a uh, painting class, right. but yeah. But you know, you should look into the parks mm -hmm. and the cities, mm -hmm. uh, things and the university. There's all mm -hmm. kinds of things in the city that we have. So I, I think that you're around the block from this studio yes, yes, yes. and we can just run over there mm -hmm. and paint with you mm -hmm. once a month at least. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, mm -hmm. I know I go over there and work out, so I'm very happy about that. And I'm there every day, yes, yes. like like coffee. Faithfully, I'm regular. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, but I thank you so much for being here and sharing this beautiful work with us. It's so, it it's so um, inspiring and uplifting. And I hope I hope you will have a show somewhere because it would be great for people to be able to come and see your work and maybe put it in their home. Yes, that would be great. Thank, thank you, you for that. being here. Yes. No problem. It was great. <laughs> Yay. Good. Good show. Thank you, Tawanda. Thank you.